Hailing out of Washington, D.C. This is Opening round scheduled for 10. How will the uppercuts of the body play a key role in this fight? Well, I think it would take away the leg movement of his opponent. That's what he wants to do. Slow him down a little bit. I think he learned that punch from the old Bob Fitzsimmons from the early 1900s. He's great middleweight, light heavyweight, heavyweight champ. That was the solo plex punch. The uppercut right in the middle of the body. Well targeted right hand by Crusher. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Payne. Vicious is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Gets rid of that effort. Halfway through round number one. Blocks the headshot. Vicious is able to land a good, solid left hand. Rusher's getting back to basics. A good, solid jab. Blocks that belt line well. Very accurate two-punch combo by Payne. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Fires right back at him. Forward. Forward. Nice block. We count down the final moments of this round. Listen to me. Here we go. Round two is underway. And he returns on that exchange. Rusher's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Rusher's defense is paying off now. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Rusher's doing well here with that two punch combination. He scored well after being hit himself. Resourceful hook by Payne. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Payne's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Crusher. Rusher's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. A little something of his own. Blocks a shot, brings back the uppercut. Final 10 seconds of round number two. And that's the end of round two. Last round, he really damaged his opponent. Blocked by Crusher. Good job on the two punch combo by Payne. Good solid shot returning fire after being hit.
What an excellent two-punch combo by Payne. Nice work to the midsection with the left. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Vicious is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And the bell rings, signifying round number four is underway. Rusher's got to feel pretty good about where things stand right now because he's still very much in this fight. It's anybody's fight, an even fight on your score. Yeah, I think actually it's going to become a fight of attrition. Whoever's in better shape because this is every round being contested. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter-punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. A shooting right hand by Crusher. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Good step back counter punch there. Left hook to the body, right hand, nicely done. Halfway through round number four. Return to sender, he gives him back one of his own. Vicious is landing a combination here, that's what he does when he's at his very best. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Rushers hit to the head. And now he scores well with the straight right. A crushing two-punch combo by Crusher. remaining in this round. Payne's right hand working well that time. He scored well. His trainer is really doing him a good service in reminding him, yes, to this point, the later stages of this fight, you're in control, but still, go out and do everything we talked about in training camp. Now committing to that jab, straight hand, and it works out. Good way to protect the midsection. Good exchange. He fires back. Keep it tight inside. Payne's got a great sense of when and how to throw the uppercut. How do you coach a guy up on the upper? What do you tell him? Well, first of all, you don't want it to become a dangerous punch for you. You don't want to drop your hand to throw. You want to make sure that you drop that shoulder a little bit and you don't give up defense for offense. Off the target by Payne. Left hook to the body. Then he comes back with the right hand. Halfway into round number five here. Vicious is left now getting into the mix. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Payne's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy, the effectiveness with that combination? Final 60 seconds after two minutes of pure fury. Vicious is well off the mark that time. Relax, relax. That 
left hand over the top. He's accurate with it. Back and forth exchange. Zane's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. Rushers tagged by that punch. One of those fights were at the half, and I don't know that it even matters. All I know is this. Both guys have brought their A games. Both guys have come here to fight tonight. What you know is that it's become a real war of wills. Two stubborn guys, and they're going to continue to argue right to the end. Jab and a straight right by Crusher. Nice work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. Vicious is fully committed to the hooks on the inside. If you're his opponent, what should you be thinking about doing here? Weave, bend your knees, get underneath one of those, and bang, there's an open. Catch him, turn it around. A well-placed left hand up top. Right to the body. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. A stabbing right hand comes in by Payne. Scored well with that straight left. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Vicious is getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Scored well to the body again. get up from that he's not going to this fight's over it's over exciting